Hi guys! Wait, is this recording? I'm sorry, it's just last, last video. I went through the whole video and then I noticed I hadn't hit record. I wanted to hang myself. But anyway, let's start over. Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I hope you're all well. Uh, I have a little haul for you that I want to share a few things that I purchased in the last like two weeks or so uh, that I am really excited about and I just really haven't actually I haven't even had a chance to use them I got them all out of the packages just to kind of like look at them and see them but I haven't used them so I thought let me go ahead and record this haul by the way this is my new uh, background I hope you like it and I have a new camera um, if you watched my previous videos I was recording with my Mac um, airbook and the quality was just horrible Obviously because, you know, it's a, it's a laptop, uh, but now I have this um, Canon camera that will do the job perfectly. And I also got it just for family videos and all. I thought it would be awesome. So, let's get started. Um, the first thing I got were, um, and I took them out of the package already, the Real Technique brushes. Um, these are from the Pixie Woo Sisters. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with these girls. They are amazing. Uh, their makeup videos, their tutorials are really awesome. Um, this is Samantha Chapman. And she has a sister and her name's Nick. And I don't know why she's not on the package. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. I would figure because they do, they both do tutorials and all, but anyway. The reason I got these brushes was because I was in search of a contouring brush and uh, MAC and all these other companies had brushes but they were like $30, $35 for each and I thought these would actually be a pretty awesome buy. I got these for $17.99 I believe and you get four brushes. Um, you get a detailer brush which is this little one right here my thing is um, I'm going to use it with uh, concealer to conceal like any spots or anything that I have. Then you get the pointed foundation brush right here and they're really soft and I like this contouring brush right here because it's really dense and I feel it's really going to place the color where I want it which is really awesome. So contouring brush, foundation brush and this is the uh, detailer brush and you get the buffing brush right here which is a little bigger um, this is a great uh, brush for blush if you'd like it's um, an awesome deal I thought not anywhere can you get four brushes for $17 $17.99 whatever it was even 20 bucks even 25 would have been good for four brushes I mean I feel like that was a deal I got these at Ulta by the way and I had a coupon I love coupons uh, I think it was 20% off or so. Um, so the next thing I got was the Tarte. I have the box here. The Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Foundation. And I got it in the color uh, Tan. This claims to give you like 12 hour coverage, flawless, um, lightweight, which is really the reason why I purchased it. I hate feeling like I'm wearing like a mask when I'm wearing foundation. I am in love with the Chanel Vital Mirror Aqua Foundation because I get that feeling where I'm not wearing any makeup. And this claims the same thing. So I have high expectations for it. And it does contain SPF 15. Um, I don't think I'll ever again, well I shouldn't say ever, but I just really like foundations that have SPF in them even though I already wear SPF. It's just a bonus for me, I feel. They do have it in about eight shades. Um, light, medium light, um, tan or dark tan, dark, um, which is pretty awesome. And if you are a formulation freak, you're gonna love this because it doesn't contain any parabens and any sulfates and what else? And you know, all that stuff that's really bad for you. Um, so I'm very excited to try this. My biggest thing is it better not make me feel like I am wearing a lot of foundation because it's going back. Um, right now I'm wearing the Vital Lumiere Aqua and I'm telling you guys if you haven't tried it it's pretty damn amazing. <laughs> um, but I don't know we'll see how this works. 12 hour full coverage. Hmm. We'll see about that. 
The next thing I bought was also from Ulta. That was the Tarte foundation was from Ulta. I got this eyeshadow in the color Golden Amber. First, let me tell you, I went to the NARS counter and this girl was wearing this beautiful um, eyeshadow and I told her, what are you wearing? And she was wearing the NARS Galapagos. Galapagos, Galapagos, the NARS Galapagos. And um, I told her, oh my God, I want it. Um, she checked and she checked and she didn't have it and I thought, oh, well, whatever, it's fine. And that's when I stopped by at Ulta and I found this one that is an amazing dupe like serious i'm gonna here's the color first let me show it to you that's the color and it's just a brown color with a gold shimmer in it it's a really nice crease color and i am in, in love with it and the little sparkles i have a huge feeling they're gonna disappear i mean you can see them on the pan but i don't think it's something to worry about i think it they came out really they came out really shimmer. yeah you know what they're gonna disappear I'm almost sure. I've never tried NYX eyeshadows, but I hear that the pigmentation on them is actually really good. So, um, I think it was like $4. So, I saw this one and thought, holy cow, it is an amazing duplicate. I want to say this is, yeah, it's just like it. Had I bought the NARS, that would have been, God, more expensive. Anyway. I also got a blush from NYX and this is in the color Desert Rose and it's a, it has tiny, it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Tiny little sparkles but I know for a fact that they will not show up on my cheeks because I have a color similar to this which is um, Orgasm. Yeah, it's Orgasm from NARS and you just really can't see anything. This was about $5. And it's just a nice dark plummy rose pink, I guess you can call it. The next thing I got was this blush from NARS. And this is in the color Outlaw. Um, at first I thought it was going to be part of their fall collection. But um, it's not. Well, I don't, I'm almost sure that it's not because it didn't stay otherwise. This is actually going to be a permanent color in their collection. So this is the color and it's a dark raspberry pink and it has like really faint golden shimmer in it that you can barely see and the color is just gorgeous and it seems like it's going to be wearable for many complexions. Now if you're not familiar with NARS blushes they're $28 but you get 0.16 ounces which is actually not that bad. Uh, I can't even tell you how long I've had my other NARS blushes for. It's been ages the pigmentation on nars blushes is amazing and if you have nars blushes you know this and if you don't i'm here to tell you these are my most favorite blushes ever these are pretty awesome and for the price you pay i know they're 28 dollars a bit pricey but you get your money's worth i promise so i stopped by a mac and i got two lipsticks i took them out of the box earlier and this is from the viva glam collection and you see how the packaging is just pink. And then this is just the regular lipstick. And it's just black with silver. Now, the first color I got, um, it was funny because I went into the Mac store and the sales associate was wearing this lipstick. And I swear she had it on all, like, messed up. It was smeared from one side. It was, like, coming off from the other but yet it looked so nice on her and I asked her what lipstick are you wearing and she said she was wearing the Viva Glam 3 and I thought I need to get it it's just if it looks nice when it's all jacked up it's gonna look nice when it's on perfectly the way it should be so this is the color and it's like a matte brownish plum color it's a really nice everyday lipstick I've never really been one to wear these type of colors, even though you probably think it's not really dark. For me, it's just darker than I normally wear. I usually stick to like nudes or, you know, simple like earth tony colors. But I'm really excited about this. And there's another lipstick that I had seen. Um, I think it was Estee Lauder though. It was even darker than this that I have yet to go by. Um, Anyway, these colors are really in for fall and winter and they just 
look gorgeous with like simple eye makeup um, and just the dark lips beautiful the other lipstick I picked up was this lipstick in chili and this is just a red how beautiful is that it's just a deep red you know what this is also a great everyday color don't be afraid to wear color to work to school I told myself that because when I used to wear my makeup before like for work or school or anywhere I you know the first thing I would think of is it is it appropriate should I is it not you know what who cares you know whatever makes you happy whatever you feel good with go for it so I got red my fiance hates when I wear red lipstick or any color that is not natural um, so anyway yeah he wasn't too excited about this at all <laughs> but I love it um, let me show you again it's beautiful really nice dark red how pretty is that gonna look I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them by the way just so you can get an idea of the color how they really are last thing I got is my holy grail of eye makeup remover and it's the Neutrogena Whoa, I got these at um, Ulta also and I just wanted to show you guys just in case you're in the market uh, for some of these I would strongly recommend these I have ugh, an itch <laughs> no I have really sensitive eyes and eye makeup removers can really irritate them but this stuff doesn't so just in case you know you're curious or you were looking for something I don't know I thought I'd show it I almost didn't show it but then I thought what if somebody is looking for an eye makeup remover you know I don't want to miss the opportunity to let you guys know so I picked these up also and I love them so that was my haul and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions comments complaints <laughs> just go ahead and leave them down below and i will answer you uh, as soon as i get a chance and yeah that's all i will see you know bleh, what i will see you uh in the next video bye i hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching so if you have any questions concerns tips anything go ahead and comment down below and i will see you next time bye